Hello. Hi. <laughs> I'll give it a second for people to get in here. There we go. Yeah, there's somebody joining. There we go. Hi, everyone. Can you we'll do a, um, a audio check? Hello. Hi. Can you hear us? Hello. Hey. Hi. Hello. Can you hear us? What's up? Hey now. Hi. Hi. Hello. Oh, I'm 281 already. That's Hello. Really cool. Hi. Can you hear us? Hello, everybody. Great. Thank you. Well, um, kind of, we're not new to this. We've done, we do this a lot with our movies and films going live. But we're very new doing this musically. Hello, Julie. Miss you too, love. Um, yeah, good. What we thought we would do is we could talk about the album, the Ulterior Motives Lost album that was released. Um, well, the album. We love you too. Well, the album is streaming, <laughs> but the CD's coming out very soon, if not sooner than me saying sooner. Um, the posters arrived today. Where's the poster? Oh, you could probably can reach oh, hang on, mate. Yeah, yeah, I'll get the poster. It's on the mixer over there. Oh. Yeah, this is kind of where we live in this studio. Hang on with your questions for a minute. Well, thank you again for doing the album. I love Man Who lo Needs Love. It's my favorite song. So these posters just came in today. And these are the posters that go with the collector's edition. Yeah, the CDs are still available. Um, these are the posters that go with the collector's edition. Of course, we sign them. And then this also comes with the collector's edition, which is, unfortunately is sold out. That was the first 500 that got it. And to get all those. And then, of course, we have a limited CD of the album that will be arriving here in a few weeks, okay? And um, we're going to autograph those for you. And they are available um, right now to pre-order the CD. The CD should be coming any time now. Yeah. If not next week. But don't, please don't quote me on that. We'll we check every day as much as you guys do. Yeah. Because we want to get it out to everybody. We're so, so like, excited about it. Okay, so... I'm sorry if we missed your question. Let's start now and we'll try to get your questions because I'm sorry we missed a few of those us babbling on, okay? So here we go. Let's start answering some questions. Um, best way to do this so I don't tread on you like I did last time. We'll answer one and I'll answer one unless it's a direct question you want to a certain person. Get your autographed, yes, get your autographed CD. You'll see... Um, the link in uh, the feed to get the CD right now. There's only, we're only printing so many, so hurry, okay. How did you feel when you heard the last song? Amazing. <laughs> we were numb. You all got hotter with age. Ooh, I love you for saying that, thank you. I like the people saying, you guys were so good looking. Yeah, don't you hate it when it was a war? So what about now, right? Yeah, um, we heard about the last song, um, April 28th, which isn't that long ago. Look how far we've advanced. And all I can say is we were ecstatic and we were blown away that people remembered our music when they How did you in. manage to hit the high notes in uh, Ulterior <laughs> Motors? Well, back then, I still couldn't hit the high notes as high because, as I've been saying, it was really pitched up when we, that song that appeared in uh, Angels of Passion. And... Um, this time, I was able to hit a lot of them, but obviously not all of them, because I'm like wine and I'm seasoned. <laughs> but there's uh, the very high notes at the very end is me today singing, and, and, so, and the verses are me singing, and the chorusers, um, the chorusers are from the original track. We did get a cassette tape. It had the original choruses on them. So those are the choruses that you hear. Oh, there's so many questions that went by so fast. 
favorite song. Well, my favorite song is, I have, they're all great songs. Mine is Man Needs Love and Language. I mean, Man Needs Love and Language of Love. I love those songs. I think mine is, um, it's so hard because I really, really like, I love them all. And I was listening to them at the gym the other day. And I, I think my favorite, where my head is at, is You Turn Me On and Rock Me to Sleep because I really loved that Chaka Khan Yeah, Prince. chemistry is great. Ch too. Chaka Khan Prince vibe. Mm -hmm. Prince was, I think, one of yours too, was one of our favorite artists. Prince. ABC, Rocks. ABC, and of course, Wham was a big influence. Animal Me, Animal and Me is my favorite. It's a good song, yeah, it, uh, Until the End of Time. Both those are really good tracks. The album is so good. Thank you. Did Michael Jackson ever hear your demos? Well, a uh, quick story, and I don't want to skip over everybody's important questions, but when we were living in Los Angeles, um, we, I, was at, we, I was at, so I'm actually living next door to Michael Jackson. So it's, it's a true story, when he had the um, Pirates of the Caribbean ride underneath his house. And so uh, we used to be able to go over his neighbors. So yeah, he heard the music. He actually loved Chris's voice. He loved the music. I don't know if you guys saw the photographs that Chris had put on Instagram, there's many more, but he took a tour of his house with us. And we actually went into his recording, he had a recording mm -hmm. studio in his house, yeah. I don't know if you knew that. This is when he lived in Encino and we spent some time over there, he was really a nice guy, really quite a nice chap, and his llama. He, he walked his llama through the house yeah. like it was a pet. When he toured, his, you know, when we toured Michael Jackson's house, he brought his llama through the house and his mm -hmm. llama actually pooped in the living room. On the tile floor. His mom yeah. and his maid would clean it up, but his mom was the one actually who decorated the whole house because I complimented, I don't know if you knew this, how great his house looked. He goes, well, my mom decorated it. Yeah. They had this big billboard with Paul McCartney, which is a dog a big, gone. big picture, a uh, life-size portrait of Diana Ross in the living room. We're and missing was, all these questions here. Love you who was too. the bass player? The bass player's name is Ira. I wish I could remember them all. A lot of them were people that we associated with in Los Angeles. They were incredible musicians as far as the bass player and some of the backups. Yes, singers. we are British. And just to know you, the, um, excuse me, the backup vocals in Your Guy, um, not necessarily Your Guy, but some of the other tracks, are actually three chaps that we saw singing on Venice Boulevard. For money, yeah, just begging for, for money, like, I guess. You know, asking for money, so we wanted to help them, so we brought them into the studio and they played. They were really nice guys. Portion of Emotion for the first time. Do you remember recording Portion of Emotion? That yeah. That been in Sino, right? Yes, yeah, that was a great song. It was a really good song. We have songs on that album, you guys probably can tell, that go into a more, like, uh, deeper, flavor, you know, and then there's the, really the light-hearted ones, which, you know... Smooth jazz, I love smooth jazz. Yeah, we did a lot of jazz back then. Potion of Emotion, we recorded in our Cena home, which was right next to Michael Jackson. Mm -hmm. Before we left to England, we moved back to London, and we played the Hippodrome, R Richard Branson's hip Hippodrome. We are still accepting fan art for that submission. Hurry, yes. though, guys, hurry. We got to put. I that love together. turn me on. You turn me on. I'm sorry, I'm missing anybody's questions. I'm trying to read them. So many of yes, them. there is more songs like one last look, and <coughs> it looks like the album is doing really well. And if it keeps going, it's the incentive for us to bring out a second album, and it'll have more tracks like one last look on it. And we do have the masters for Animal and Me until the end of time, but we don't know what shape they're in. They came on quarter inch tape. If you guys know what that format is back then and we have to take it into a studio to see if the masters has lost it I, that's a lot of people ask me about life school sounding like part two of ulterior motives i think it's because it's got that yeah. similar guitar sound i think it sounds really close to, to you know uh, ulterior motives. but you know sometimes artists you know as you well know whether it's youtube i want to see your t-shirt send me the picture of the t-shirt you made it's strange knowing none of you could have happened i agree I agree. Um, it's really kind of crazy to even think that we would have blown the dust up all these songs if you guys didn't help uh, try to find the song Ulterior Motives in it. 
it made us want to put the whole CD in. No, we, we actually autographed the CD, just so you know that question. And it's very important. I think in today's, you know, you, you want something special. The whole point of it, whether it's a collector's edition, which unfortunately we sold out, or just the autographed CD, that you're actually getting the tourism. We will record it just for, for promotional purposes. But we actually sign everyone, and we're trying to put your names on it as well. Not just like a generic. It's going to take. We'll do a while. our best we can. We it's can't good. promise yeah. we are signing them. I was going to say, um, we are doing new music. Uh, I do music all the time. Phil is coming in, and we're going to do a new album. I don't think it's going to be an '80s album. It might be more rock and more Pink Floyd experimental. Uh, the original vocals, um, the original lead vocal. Hi, Belgium. Uh, the original ulterior motive vocal is not found yet. Can we Just remix your music? A lot of people are asking us about remixes. What do you want to do about that? Um, uh, you guys do what you got to do. Just you guys Give us well, credit? No, no, no. You guys can do what you want to do, but you've got to go through the legal thing to do it. You've got to go to your distributor, if you're going to stream any remixes or remakes, you've got to go legally and do it. Because right now, I'm not talking about the ones where you've posted this original song, that's fine. I'm talking about people that actually took the song, changed the lyrics or didn't know the lyrics and called it themselves. That is illegal. So what you guys want to do, I'm fine with you remastering it, remixing it. But you've got to go through the legal process of getting permission or licensing mechanical sync rights, so, so to speak, through your distributor. And I'm fine with all that. If we find the original masters of um, Ulterior Motors, we would probably only release it streaming because the CD's printed. But I want everybody to know, because I've read some very kind of critical things, and, and I don't know why... Um, people feel that way. We searched heavily for um, ulterior motives. We spent a month looking through CDs, tapes, uh, and cassettes, and reel the reels. And it was really because of your love for the song that we re recorded what we didn't have. I, I think that you can always um, improve something, but at the same time, you can never capture the original ulterior motives. First of all, it was done in the in 82, 83. Secondary, we were obviously a lot younger then and you're full of all kinds of different emotions and energy. Your, your mentality, your physicality, everything changes, even your thought, thoughts of what you want to be when you grow up, concepts. So I think you can always improve on a song. Yes, you can, you got to send an email to, to uh, Spook TV for that. For what? About getting your name correct on anything like that. If you either put in the well, wrong address or whatever. Well, if, if you have a wrong address, just send customer service. She yeah. wants a different name on the CD, but I don't know how to... Uh, I, that could be crazy for us. There's lots of them going out, and we're going to do the best we can. So Please, here's an email, though. Well, reach out to customer service, yeah. Thank you for saying that, about it sounding amazing. Um, and by the way, on the, just to touch the critical... Um, I, it really doesn't bother me. It's just that when these people do the AI versions, they sound really bad because what you're doing, the extracting the vocals and then you're putting it through AI or you're putting it through a, a corrector and it's getting all the notes all missed wrong and done. And I think that it was my hope that you enjoy the song and whatnot, but not damage it. So please keep that in mind. We found out about the song who told us about the song um, when we hit Rolling Stone magazine, when there was an article in Rolling Stone magazine, the first one, about the mysterious internet song. And then they followed up with an article when we discussed them. And Michael, yes, Michael Jackson did hear our songs and he loved, loved our songs. And, and we were fortunate to, to see him at least four or five more times because I lived next door to him until he moved to that other ranch. Uh, everything on that album was recorded in the 80s and some of it in the very beginning of the 90s. Your Guy and a couple other tracks you probably 
I Want to Love on the second album, but Life School and all those were recorded in, Hello. The, in the 80s. Can we play as the multi-track live in the studio? <laughs> um, I don't know what that means. It probably, we didn't fire the studio up today. Um, and I'll tell you a reason why we're doing that. I, I try to read the, the direct messages as much as possible. I am so swamped with messages and I'm doing the best I can. See the, the, and I want to, so I, I do read them. I want to reiterate the issue here with streaming and YouTube and, and um, TikTok and all that is if you put music, like if we played music right now behind us or whatever, since it's, if it's already up, on TikTok as something else, it, we could get potential flags. Um, the AI robots are doing all that stuff. It's making it really hard. You have to really know how to get around that kind of stuff. So that's why Thank we can't you. put any more songs. Like for instance, we put up a an album that medley, and it got thrown off TikTok twice due to the fact that the AI are flagging the copyright. So it's really getting difficult. Are you still getting the boombox tattoo? Is that what it is? A tattoo? Thinking about it. <laughs> so in Love is a great song. It's very cool. Very cool song. I, it it might have it, it, it might have been in England because when we played the Hippodrome, I don't know if you remember this, but a couple of our songs made it on BBC Radio. So that might be where you heard it. We went back to England in the early 80s um, and we got at the Hippodrome, which was Richard Branson Virgin Records, for the British people that know that, and it was right at the time Wham was, was just breaking up actually, I think they broke up in about 86 when Andy originally decided that. So it, we had a really um, great reception there because um, that music was pretty hot. We came back to the States. Um, after that and then we got produced by some very big producers who were doing a lot of R&B a lot of Smokey Robinson and the Miracles um, type R&B stuff the um, piano player is a, a, a studio musician that was friends of some of our good friends um, we had the uh, our whole backup band well, used to be the California Raisins in the commercials in California and what they did is they put him on the piano and he looked so legend we turned him into a cartoon we have all yes to that question about the fan base in the 80s we had a huge fan base i mean here's something trivia for you here is call 92 is great thank you for that is what i want to say is that um what's really important to understand about this whole thing is we're a little overwhelmed by all of this very happy and very taken back i mean as corny as it sounds yes i'm releasing more synth music yeah, we've had tears in our eyes over this whole incredible thing, but Thank you guys you. want to hear our music again. Again, Call92, we appreciate him starting this whole thing, and, and um, if Call92 is out there listening, please get a hold of me. I'd love to give you a gift from us. Cassettes, we, I've been thinking about it. I think that we need to make sure that it's financially cool. If enough people want them, we can afford to print them. Should I reach out? Yeah, just go ahead and send me another message if you get hold. I'm doing my best to get a hold of you. No, F Freddie Mercury. Yeah, who's who? He's had a question mark in that. The person who just wrote, I love the who's whose name, you know, that name come, came up because everybody used to come up to them and say, uh, who's who? And we have actually a question mark in the actual name. Yes, but it ben, won't allow us yes. to put it on certain um, criteria. It won't allow question marks, so it's a little confusing. Vinyl, about. same thing. If we get enough requests for vinyl, and then maybe we'll put a pre-order site up. I'd love to print, print that. You seem like a cool dude. Thank you, <laughs> dude. That's I don't know who's writing that. No, I, I don't think that we would redo uh, anything with Angels of Passion. No, that was just, I mean, if you've seen other interviews... We've, uh, we've been involved in supplying music to 
quite a lot of uh, adult films, and I, the people that we knew in there were great, but we've moved on, and we're in a different realm, and they're in a different realm, and I, with all due respect, they don't really want to be associated with the um, adult industry anymore, because sometimes it's something you do to make money, and then you move on, so with respect to them, I think we wouldn't be reaching out to them. Yeah, we perform live uh, as Who's Who. Um, the specific songs I remember playing live was Nothing Lasts Forever, Three Blind Mice, I'm Who's sorry, Here, The so Guy. Many questions. Thank you. For, yeah, we love style. Oh, thank you from Gabriel, from, uh, to my son from Philippines. Thank you. Well, thank you, One Truth. I appreciate what you do. Thank you. Do you know? God, there's so many questions. When do you guys go blonde? <laughs> we, I think we spent. Well, I still am blonde. Yeah, I think blonde washed me out. I think in so in this you blonde still. Yeah, this 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 time here was. I, I love. Have you guys seen their footage on those little promo ads that we've got? They were really amazing times. Why didn't um, you guys make it back in the day? Uh, we got really close several times. There was just a lot of politics involved in rock and roll, even more so now. Um, so Love from Croatia. Back we ended up you. making movies, which worked out very well. Yes, the footage does have audio. We used a MIDI guitar a lot back then for the people. The person is asking about instruments. <laughs> look, we all look the same. Really? <laughs> I don't have those little cornrows in there. <laughs> Hello, Brazil. The Cowboy Hats. We had a band in the late nineties uh, or mid nineties called Cowboys and Angels. Didn't no, we? None of those outfits would fit. We've had twenty six in. 26 inch waist back then <laughs> you're gonna get into your vinyl red suit <laughs> no it'd be hot it's so hot here now no i always wanted to see george michael and wham live yeah never did. queen we saw queen a few t and david bowie well the, the thing about and music is with who's who someone asked about the end of who's who we opened a lot of people don't know our history but we were very um respected and, and we were brought in as songwriters and 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 they used to drive us around in the back of a Rolls Royce to different record companies, Chris and I, and have them have us sing in their ears. It was really a great Island. time back then. But who's who ended I when we moved it. to a different kind of music? We moved into a more queen type music when the band Affair, who someone was asking about till the end of time, about being in a movie. Yeah. Um is we moved into a more Duran Duran Queen. Love you thing. too. Yeah, we're gonna release all the footage. Um, yes, our other brother is a drummer. Yes, he, he is. was. A, he had a Go record, and we idolized him. And um, he was in a band called Sweeney Todd with Nick. Gilles, I have to say, some it. of these people's questions are really weird. <laughs> um, uh, just my imagination, yeah. I don't yeah. know. When do you think the second album should come out? If you want a second album, can you give me tons of heart? Can you give us tons of hearts right now if you want a second album? It's on you. One, two, three, four. There you go. And we'll put a second album out. That would, that second album, favorite Queen album? Oh my God. I Chris and, I saw, first one? Chris and I saw Queen live twice, what a cheap the trick one? opening what up was for the them. first one called? Fair, Ogre Battle with Ogre Battle. Fair, Fair, this is entitled Queen. The I first think. Queen album this Queen. and the white one. Yeah. But yeah, the second album will have just my imagination till the end if of the time. Original vocals, Animal and me. If we find the original vocals, we'll put it on the track and release it. That's no problem. She a heart attack. There you go. Yeah, the great album. Yeah, love that album. That's yeah. some, to keep a little let it shine down. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, man. yeah. If we find your ulterior motives, there's been so many requests for it. Of course, we'll release Ooh, it. Why, but like I said earlier, we? we've already. Well, why wouldn't we? Yeah, we've already we? already looked for it. You know, it. it's like 
if you don't say if guys don't like the new one, listen to the old one. If you don't like the old Dawkins, one... Dawkins, good, yeah. Listen to the new one. But either way, I think they're both good. I mean, please understand that... We what both you, sing. We both yeah, sing. What you guys have done for us, which we're returning to you by creating this album. And also, um, I don't know if you guys knew this, but... You know, a lot of people talking about AI and, and all this stuff. Well, we don't want to do that in the studio. We're real musicians and real singers. So what you get is what you get. If you get a note that's not completely on, you know why? Because it's real. Um, we never used any AI, <coughs> auto-tune, Melodyne, anything like that in the original mm -hmm. recordings. There's no reason to put it in now. The person who asked about Motley Crue, we opened up for Motley Crue at the Troubadour in 1983. I think in Los Angeles, um, it was incredible to meet them back then. Um, we would, that's when I was saying when the end of Who's Who, maybe it was, maybe it was later, maybe it was 88, it was, it's hard to remember. But when we moved into a heavier type music, Phil does mostly the backup vocals and second lead vocals. Yeah, I, Mike Flanagan is very talented. We are truthful, thank you. I, I, don't, I think that it's important to be transparent. Um, I think that it is what it is. And, and I think that um, you look at Boy George now, you look at Robert Plant, uh, Sebastian Bach, um, Bon Jovi, Paul McCartney, Elton John, people's voices change as they get older. I personally think it was pretty incredible. I haven't touched a microphone for over 20 years and I think what came out of it was quite very cool. Oops. Everybody's, we're getting a lot of requests to be touring live. I think that's something that we're going to have to consider um, when we see the success of, of like the album and, and where we're at. Because we also do a lot of films and a lot of other things. So we have contracts, you know, um, to deliver well, those. I, I we'll stopped, see. I stopped singing a long time ago because we went in into the film business. I became a film producer. I always stayed as a composer, but I only sang when I drank, <laughs> which at sometimes it was a lot. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to start singing again, so who knows, maybe we'll do it again. I don't know what the chap's name is on the piano. Do you remember? Mm -mm. I know Kareem is one of the is the singers. Do you guys remember the California Raisins? You ever hear of them? They used to do California. the commercial, the commercials, and they used to sing the Motown stuff. All those guys singing the backups were actually the singers of of that those commercials at that time. But maybe it's a California thing. I'm, I can't. Thank you. We're our favorite Japanese teenage girls. <laughs> Arigato. <laughs> The first reaction, we, we were overwhelmed. Thank we were you. Touched deeply. I mean, you understand for a musician who's lost a song for that long to the have part, it. part, always saying more than you knew, it's very simple. I'm human, I forgot. Oops. <laughs> um, maybe we'll do another version and put that in. Um, what about the California Rays? We worked with the California Rays, used to be our band. Well, they were all, uh, I, we were them, they were ever the opposite. The logo was simple, it was everybody asked us who's who, and it, was, it seemed really cool to put a little bubble above the guy's head. The, all the lyrics are added on Apple and Spotify, it takes weeks for them to come up. Thank you for the... We the, love you too, by the way. Yeah, we think the ulterior motive sounds really good, the new one. Yeah. Um, excuse me. Yeah, I guess it, you, you know. Well, you knew this. I'm going to tell you. Uh, chemistry is featured in a Disney movie. I'm going to leave it at that. Go find you guy. You internet sleuths. You cool sleuths. You go find the internet. Go find the movie that Chemistry was in in Walt Disney movie. We wrote a lot of songs. So Ulterior Motives was 
one of the songs that, that we really dug, but there was a lot of other songs. This was a huge writing part of our time. So we have like 34 songs Thank you. that we found hunting for ulterior motives. We came found 32 more songs. And so that's why we started releasing a first album, potential second album. It's a, uh, it was a teenage movie. It wasn't a Disney cartoon. It was actually a movie. Yes, Culture Club did inspire a movie. the guitar. You know, I absolutely love interacting with you guys. And I just want to say this before we continue with the questions. Instead of the haters hating, because there's been a little bit of hate, can we all just work together and just be happy and joyful and dance? And, you know, if you guys can find the vocals or we can find the original vocals, we'll release it. Otherwise, let's respect the artist and just enjoy the new song. That would be really cool. Thank you very much. I'm not going to tell you what movie it was in. You guys are the brilliant detectives. We should work for it. Yeah. No, they, they, I want you guys to see if you can find, I tell you, whoever finds out what movie Chemistry was in in a Walt Disney movie, we'll send you a beautiful package from us. Uh, our kids, Chris's son and my daughter, came up to us. Thomas and said, Dolby. Fabulous. Said, uh, Thomas Dolby. We met Thomas Dolby. Quick story. Oh, and Howard Jones. We got quick to meet story on Thomas Dolby. I had a Chihuahua, beautiful Chihuahua, and he peed on Thomas Dolby's foot in a music store. We met Martin yes, Martin so. Kemp. You know, no, that's no, that's from ABC. Martin Fry. Well, Ma Martin, isn't it Martin? Who's the Martin from Deepash Mode? Anyway, uh, met him in a club too. Um, it was a great time back then. I'm not going to tell you anything about the Disney movie. You guys work for it, and we'll give you the whole who's who package. Anyway, finish what I was saying. Our kids came up to us and said, guys, you're all over TikTok. And we said, we are. And then they played us what it was with all that whole viral stuff going down. And it was, it was spectacular to see all those people singing the song. It was amazing. Yeah, I love Thomas Dolby, too. Howard Jones, Thomas Dolby, Naked Eyes. What a time for music. Favorite song on the album? Martin Gore. Martin Gore, yeah, that's it, yeah. He was kind of a dick. <laughs> nah. <laughs> he, but I, he was not a dick. He's maybe just, this was in his, he was just in ego his, world, I don't know. No. Got to meet you too as well. His name, was, they were his name was Rupert. I had him for 16 years. He was a beautiful red head chihuahua. We made a movie called Rupert Saves Hollywood. Mm -hmm. It takes about about a day to convert the, the master tapes to digital. You Turn Me On is a great song. I would like to... Did we get a lot of hearts on that album? I think so, didn't mm -hmm. we? I would like to... Tell me what you guys think about taking You Turn Me On and I was thinking about licensing it to some very um, successful rap artists and they're going to take the samples and they're going to do a rap over kind of like a Juice World thing. I think I like Juice World um, a lot. I think that would be really cool. What do you guys think about that? I, Language of Love is my favorite as well, by the way. Kaja Gugu, love them. Two shy shy. Yeah, love that song. Love the I, idea. I, okay. Two Cheers. shy shy. Okay. Yeah, Juice World. God bless Catching him. Catching up on all these things. Till the end of time in Anna or Me, we hope to put in the second album if the masters have survived. We don't know yet till we go into the studio. Again, I don't know who the sax player was. I wish I could remember. That was a really long time ago. And um, We worked with a producer named Gary Getzman who produced um, Stop Making Sense album by the talking, talking, he heads, talking yeah. heads and also UB40. UB and uh, Mike Piccarello. Piccarello was the backup singer and key, keyboard, keyboard player. player. Keyboard and he brought in a sax player. And we had, and I, I feel really bad. We had a beautiful lot of musicians, and I can't, only Ira mm -hmm. and, and also Kareem, a lot of I people remember those. Didn't know, as well, also produced 
by another producer, and he produced a lot of successful 80s albums, and that was Debbie Gibson and Tiffany, for anybody who's into that 80s music. Um, and they were... Yes, we will release 85 music video footage, yes. They were very into um, keeping us... Los Angeles. Up. We're, we're in Los Angeles and Indiana. We have two places there. Yeah, Stop Making Sense, great album. He was a really nice guy, the producer. The, the, well, the next album that's coming out is all going to be 80s and we early are, 90s songs. The footage we're probably going to put in a music video um, to that question that was asked about releasing the footage. Um, How old are you guys? Keep them guessing with oil over Well, Well, um, we're having a birthday tomorrow with 32. 32. Yeah. We're talking about doing a tour. We're actually doing two shows, one in mid-Michigan in October, at the end of October, and one in Scarefest, which is in Louisville. No, Lexington, Kentucky, in uh, the second week of October, we'll be signing and the have fan all, conventions. All the merch, yeah. We'll have merchandise there. Chemistry was featured in a Disney movie, yes. See, I don't know for the person who just has to have the cassette tape again. I don't know how popular cassettes even are. I saw somebody who made an amazing, um, that posted an amazing animation a mock-up of a cassette, but it has to make sense to print cassettes. For the order us. of the tracks are put in kind of to make you go up and then rest and then finish. So it's done strategically, I guess, with what we feel emotionally. We make do. music because we just do, because it's part of us. Um, Music was going? an escape for us, and still is, and then it film became an well, escape Well, when are for you guys us. going to kiss? I don't know, I could ask you the same question. Um, are you guys more music in the album? Some strange questions, I have to say. Um, Do you have a niche market you said about cassettes? Yeah. Well, there was a, we chap, a chap that reached out, and I think he did great work. We're talking to him about it. If we get enough orders, we'll do it. The people who are asking about us, the songs and the movies, um, due to success of all this, we do get approached from uh, potential te television It was It was pretty movies. awkward working on the set of adult films. It was, it was very much like if you guys ever had a dog and the dog jumps on the couch <laughs> and, and starts, the pillow. starts humping a pillow and you throw a pillow and say, don't do that. It was like that. We were throwing pillows saying, don't hump in front of us. Yeah. Up the pitch on ulterior motives. Well, the thing is, we like the way it is. We, I, I was going to get to that story. We spent a long time in the studio where they wanted to make us pitched up. And we really want to be who we are, if that makes sense. We don't want to be manipulated in the sense of pitch shifting or AI or artificial, um, you know, stuff. We want to be really who we are. And, and that's important because everything you hear, even on the new ulterior motives, is real. It's not artificially created. And I think that's important. We're going so fast, there's so many. Mm -hmm. It's hard. Are we trying to, we're, it probably looks like we're having brain freezes. We're trying to read all your well, questions. Well, there's just so many, which I think is... Stranger things we can't discuss right now. Yeah, like I was saying Agent earlier... with agents, we have to leave it We can't that. talk about things like that right now. They told us we can't. Um, uh, you got to find it, guys. I want you guys, because you guys are such great detectives. You found those, and we love you for that. See if you can find out what movie. I know you guys can do it. Chemistry was in a Disney movie, and then when you get it correct, thank you for saying that on the we're going to give you some new version of all two. Hello, movies. New Zealand.
There are people getting very close out there, or they're guesses. We are very authentic, love it or hate it. Um, I don't really, you know, I get it. You know, people have, I think, I just want to, a lot of people love the song, and a lot of people only love the song for the chase of finding the song. Because if you really love the song and love the artist, you would respect what we're doing, not saying that the old version is more, you know, original. We get that. But when you can't find it, we went out and created it to give it to you. Mm -hmm. But when you just don't even fathom that, to me, this is my opinion, you can throw shit at me if you want, but you don't like the artist and you don't like the song, you only after your the song and maybe your own concept of finding it and giving it to the world, which is fine too, you teach their own. But my personal opinion is, why can't we work together on this? When we, so there when we, we met Michael Jackson, yes, he talked like, hi. He talked very high. He was an amazing, Don't amazing, know who Jay Slater amazing is. guy. Amazing guy. I mean, all Thank the you. stuff they, that he went through at the end was terrible. I Michael Jackson was an angel. It's not a cartoon, by the way. It's a movie on Chemistry Disney. I hope they are a minority because the thing is, it's cruel. It's cruel what they're saying, and I don't want to want to deal. Not with that. really. They say that I sound like SpongeBob. SpongeBob was. Made. I don't even know what SpongeBob sounds like. Well, apparently, the new vocals are not too motive. <laughs> but it doesn't bother me because I love SpongeBob. You know, me and my son watched every SpongeBob episode. It was very cool. Please, guys, we're going to try to get to all the DMs. It's so insane, and I'm going, I'm like running four platforms, and I'm going to try to get to you. The best way to really reach out to me is send me an email through customer service, and I can definitely get it. Yes, we had bands. There was a band called The Fair. There was a band called um, T for Two. Uh, God bless your son. Thank you. Um, T for Two, A Fair, Sweeney Todd. Um, what other band names were we? Did we do Cowboys and Angels? We were the while, right? fair Alley Brat. Alley Brat. Alley Brat was very big for us. I don't know if you guys like 90s rock and roll or eight, eight, 80s rock and roll, but we also have an album of hard rock music. Because I used to sound like um, also Bon Scott. ACDC. ACDC. The, the music that we moved on from Who's Who's when we moved on to our heavy music book, I was saying earlier, is amazing. And we're even thinking about putting that out there. If people want to hear it, um, that would be from Ali Brad. It's amazing stuff. It's like hearing Queen or something, you know? I know, Tracy. I used to go... Yeah, out. we had, back in the I vinyl I, days, we had a lot of I releases. dated Tracy Lords once. Yeah, thank you for saying that again about Ulterior Motors. That's very kind. I didn't know John Waters. Remastering the song, Chris is a brilliant producer, so he, he if you've seen his videos of his studio, um, he put a lot of time creating stereo separation the best he could. But some of these songs are very old. Yeah, they are. You know, they, they, have, very, they come from... Some have tape on They come from on. tape. They actually come yeah. from tape. And... You're not going to digitize them through a computer and have that art tinny audio sound. So we did the very best to recreate the thickest sound. Did I ever meet Trevor Horn? I, I would die meeting Trevor Horn. He's one of Hans Zimmer and Trevor Horn and SpongeBob are my heroes. Hi, Mexico. The, t the cassette tapes had a few dropouts and I couldn't get... I could not get them out without literally splicing and destroying the song, and I wanted it to be 100% as authentic as we could get it. Obviously, if Ulterior Motors was still in a place where it could be put out, I would have put out that one instead of the one we did. If I collaborated with a dead artist, that'd be hard, because it would have to be Prince, it'd have to be George Michael, right? And David Bowie. Freddie Mercury. Those are, and right. Freddie Mercury. There's your band right there. Freddie Mercury. <laughs> <laughs> Freddie Mercury and George Michael's got to be some of the best singers I, ever. I can show you what the tapes look like, but I don't have them right here. But they're just the, the big, thick, reel-to-reel. Favorite song on the album. One-inch tape. 
favorite song on the album quickly which one favorite song on the album I've already said mine which one Man Needs Love and Language of Love are my favorite Chemistry's great too Man Needs Love is a fun song we have another one you see, we have another one that's coming on the second unfortunately album. a lot of my favorite songs also are on the second one because they're more of a Howard Jones type Thomas Dolby flavor to them and they're just so deep and cool one of our submarines is missing is one of my favorite yeah. Thomas Dolby songs about his love by Howard Jones with the big and influence. also always something that you naked eyes naked eyes, by eyes. Naked oh eyes. yeah great song I love Man Needs and I love Michael Jackson Rock With You and Prince oh my the Purple Rain album best one of the best albums ever made Purple Rain Which song has been the most meaningful? Language of Love for me again. It just, every time I hear it, it just You turn me. me on and rock me to sleep because it's kind of sensuous. And I think romance should be sensuous. I just think the Lovely, words, beautiful. the lyrics and language of love, finding the right words to say, I'm learning the language, you know, and speaking the language of love. No, never went for a Michael Jackson sound. Loved his production. Prince... I love the band Jam. I mean, the band in Prince. What a band. Amazing musicians. And, and there's nothing better. That's why playing with Phil, um, you know, is great. I mean, musically, it, I love working with musicians. You can't get the same singing. That's why you guys got to get away from AI. And I know people saying, yeah, AI has its place for macros that make this step easier. But to literally concentrate on all this auto-tune and AI, it has its place. But there's nothing like working with real, authentic musicians. No, I mean, you know, you, when you go in a studio and you just play live together and you feed off each other, you collaborate, that's the high. This, this computer AI-generated stuff is um, not Actually, Ulterior Motives is at 100,000 on Spotify right now. Th those stats you guys are reading are outdated we are at just went over 250,000 streams on Spotify in in less than four days or three days and we hope to get half a million hopefully by the end of next week and then if you guys do me a favor please stream it and stream it and stream it because if we can do a million streams we'll release that second album very soon because it is coming out uh, it's all self we'll, I wish we maybe we'll do another live video and show you some snippets from the new up the second 80s album but if you really like this one I really think you're gonna if you like so in love you like man needs love there's a lot more tracks like that mm -hmm. there's a song called May Day thank in you. Heaven which is phenomenal thank you second album I thank you again for all you people that have been listening to it on repeat it's such a beautiful thing now i do gotta tell you it's absolutely bye-bye um bye. I, i've got to tell you that the songs get stuck in my head i've you know just putting an ad out or a little promo for it um or an update i i, I can't stop singing man needs love or, or chemistry or so in love um or your guy. Um, what are your yes, guy's favorite yeah. song? What, what is your guy's favorite song? This is saying Lie School. So Lie School is great. So in love. Nothing, nothing lasts forever. forever. Yeah. Animal and me. That's the one we did at the Hippodrome. Nothing lasts forever. We did that in England. Mm -hmm. Yeah. May, May Day in Heaven is what it's called. May Day in Heaven. May Day. You know, SOS sending out an SOS. You love life school very. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Michael. Well, Ness, look, Thank I you. love the guitar. Shout shout out. By the way, everybody give a shout out to our customer service, Nicole, who's on here. She's on the Duchess Nine Tails. Hello. Everybody give love Hi, Nikki. To, to Nikki, who's our customer Thanks service. Thanks for doing such a great job. That is helping, overwhelming. Helping us deal with all these millions of adventures going on thank you for showing I actually you. love the guitar in life school I think it was also fun. everybody say happy birthday to Linda she's N Nikki's mom and she just happy had birthday, a birthday happy birthday Linda happy birthday love 
Thank you, guys. The guitar is amazing. Phil is an amazing guitar player. Thank you. And uh, I'm glad that he's playing again. He's been very involved in the film business, so he's just playing again, so that's really sweet. Yeah, I think Lie School, when I, guys, you want to know, when I first heard Lie School, I thought it was ulterior motives. No, I thought it was ulterior motives. I thought it was ABC. It's got the, <laughs> it's almost the same song, really. Oh, I am, oh, God bless. I'm sorry your great aunt died. God bless. May she shine in heaven. Everybody, please show some love for somebody's great aunt. I, I'm sorry I didn't get your name. The name passed away. Great aunt had passed away. I'm so sorry. Savage, Savage God, and I love anything. the band Savage God. Don't know God. anything about that. But I don't know the theories other than they were supposed to have sung the song, but they didn't. How many guitars do you own? Uh, seven. I did have a Korg, Korg Mono Poly, and I had the Poly 6, by the way. Good call. That is a lot of the keyboards, that and a Mirage Sonic on all the 80s songs. Can't read all this. Yeah, I love the guitar solo and last solo and last look a lot. I really do. A lot of people think it's very journeyish or something like that. I Who's think there? Lie School is a great name because you learned your lie, you learned to lie, you earned your degree in Lie School. Oh, uh, T Rex concept. was amazing. Our older brother opened up for T Rex. Mark, actually, Mark Bolin. Mark Bolin, the person who wrote about T Rex. What yeah. a what a handsome chap. We was. were we were young lads. We look young lads. We They're were gone. yeah. Get it on. When yeah. we were young, we lads, our brother was playing and he opened up for T Rex. Uh, Altier Motors. It was I'm sure it was about a girl that was special at the time. You don't have to buy a mechanical license, by the way. All you need to do, whether you do Distro Kids, CD Baby, whoever you do, you say it's a cover song. They handle your license and they think they charge you $12 is all they charge you for a year. And they handle all the paperwork. They handle all the stuff. So you can get a mechanical yeah. license to cover the song. If you want to sample it, you have to talk to the publishing company in Oz. Love Frankie Goes to Hollywood. <clears throat> you know my favorite? Pleasure Dome. You know my love favorite? Love Pleasure Dome. The Power of Love. A lot of people don't know that song. Power of Love is a great song. I, lo I love Wham and I was disappointed. In my soul. You know when Wham had their number one hit, Wake Me Up Before You Go, that Wake Me Up Before You Go Go, mm -hmm. they took a bus to the Brit Awards in England. They had a number one hit in the world and they took of actually with a cab or a bus to the award show. That's what the music is. I remember that story. How am I feeling after squeezing my balls? <laughs> That's why I'm sitting like this. <laughs> you could do helium. You could have sucked on a balloon too, you know. Kaja Goo Goo. Too shy shy. Yes, Y'all. George Michael, God bless. Is anyone else you willing to share the unmixed stems? Um, uh, we have some uh, big DJs that want to grab the stems. And again, that has to go through our agent. Hello, Mexico. Hello, Mexico. Thank you. Thanks for saying about the songwriting. I think, I do think, honestly, the Thank songwriting you. back then with all the 80s. Yeah, really Russo powerful. Shakamoto, um, I am very, very, very good. From Manchester, England, really. Jen Jennifer. Yorkshire, Halifax. Jennifer says, you Russo Shakamoto, God bless, rest in peace. I don't know if you just passed from He cancer. did, he passed a little while ago. I love him. I love him. France, love you too. And what about guys know... Show me some hearts if you remember the great David Sylvain in Japan. What a band. What, a, what an artist. What a charismatic chap. David Sylvain. Fabulous. Foo Fighters are a great band. I was in Yorkshire a month ago. You were a shut door feed dog lad. Was it Yorkshire born, Yorkshire bred, strong in the heart. 
but thick in the head. <laughs> I didn't want to watch the biopic of Michael Jackson if it's the one that where they attack him. I only Love from Ireland. I Hello. knew him who he was, and it, you know, I didn't want to get into the drama and all that. We're gonna thank you for that one truth. We come back to England. Well, you know, we did go back to England. That's we what were, I'm saying. Right? We, we were, were there, back there yeah. back to England, and we went to, was it Liverpool? And we went all the way up to Yorkshire and surprised our aunties. But um, that's when we did, performed uh, Nothing Lasts Forever. I don't know if we'll be going back there anytime soon, though. We have a cousin in Devon. It sounds like Journey, One Last Look. I can see the guitar playing does for sure. Mm -hmm. Thank you with our favorite Japanese girl. Uh, Nick Rhodes Aradata. is amazing from Duran Duran. I love him. Yeah, he's and Lincolnshire nice. too. Lincolnshire. Hello. Come to Canada. Our, our brother lives. One truth. Our brother lives in, in Canada. Because Sweeney Todd was in a Canadian band. Whitby. All these places in Northern England, look at that. Duran Duran is fabulous, and my favorite Duran Duran song is... You live six is, miles... Oh, in every world. I'm currently six miles from Halifax. We'll say hello to the soot. <laughs> Yorkshire born, Yorkshire bred. Strong, strong in the heart, heart thick, thick in, in the head. head. Yeah. Who was in the photos of the toddlers on his screen? That's is that our mom and dad? The mom and dad, yeah. What's the view quest be in your video? Let's see what happens. Uh, we're trying to get to these. We're going to be signing up very shortly. Hello, Canada. Oh, there's so many good bands like, of course, I love them, Limp Biscuit. We do have an office in Los Angeles, yes. What did it feel like to live in the 80s? It was phenomenal. Still living. Yeah. We're still in it. <laughs> we got to meet so many people. Big artists, like I said, you too. Kanye West a, is a great producer. Guns N' Roses. Kanye is a great producer. I live in briefly what Birmingham, yeah, yeah. We bought a Jaguar in Birmingham. Yeah, broke down. We went back in the coldest winters ever. Um, we're going to be uh, leaving shortly. We have uh, commitments we got to get to. So give us your question. questions. I know we've already been approached. We have a lot of sampling options. Um, no, never met Kurt Cobain. <laughs> no, but what we did do for the Kurt Cobain question, we did see Nirvana in Seattle before they were famous when Meredith Brooks, you guys knew Meredith Brooks, Brooks is you a bitch, you a lover, you a bitch, you a lover. No, there was Meredith Brooks was a big Seattle and Pearl Jam and Nirvana. We got to see Cocteau Trends are great before yeah. they were famous. other members were studio musicians they were different musicians God, but, and I can't remember some of their names it was so long ago I don't think Michael heard ulterior motives he heard um, who's the other guy chemistry um, and that's on the second album isn't, isn't who's the other guy on the second album because your guys on the first one right yeah yeah who's the other guy? and yeah. my yeah. my sweethearts on the other one yeah yeah uh, we Vancouver for Canada. When I was, Victoria, British when, I was eight, when I was eighteen, I toured all of Canada. We did three hundred. I love ABBA. Three hundred sixty <laughs> shows in a year. Thank you. I love your accent too. Pearl Jam's great. It is like a dream. It's like a dream, and like any dream, you hope it doesn't stop. You know, well, what we're hoping you guys do, um, if you can, watching the streaming, we're going, getting close to about half a million now uh, in a couple of days. If you guys can please keep streaming it, 
we can get to a million, then we're going to release a second album. And the person who came on later asked us, yes, I used to live next door to Michael Jackson. So, yeah, we did post a snippet of My Sweetheart in one of the, I think in the TikTok video, didn't we? Yeah. Or maybe I posted it on Instagram. Instagram. This is ain't with just my imagination, which is a phenomenal temptation song, I think. And is it temp? No, is it Smokey Robinson? Is it Temptations? Yeah, uh, uh, blonde hair dye and Aquanet was the main things back then. Yes, <laughs> you guys see those videos, aren't they? I just love those. There's so much um, love for music back then. So much love for that industry back then. Um, it's a shame that the industry's changed so much, but I, I you, watching those videos is such a high. You get yeah, so I loved crazy. Live Aid. I loved I, all the the also the Freddie Mercury tribute AIDS concert. I thought that was fabulous. Uh, David Bowie singing with Annie Lennox. Eurythmics. I mean, what a band, right? The Eurythmics. There's probably more Wham songs. That the biggest, the out biggest out. advice for young musicians is not to do it for money you know that but to do be different do it from the heart and do not get in it to think that you're going to make any kind of money it's a very tough business but i do music because i absolutely need to it's not for it's great for my mental health i don't take any kind of drug or any kind of meds and when i get depressed or sad i go in the studio and where we are now write music so i do music for my love of it and just be different for an hello artist. france beach boys are great let's just take a couple more questions and we should get going we've probably taken too much of your afternoon up as it is um no we we weren't banned. We were. Oh, that's that's a different question to somebody else. Sorry. Um, I love Kurt. Kurt it's going so fast. You both are very, very authentic music. Thank you so much. We try. Come back to Halifax. <laughs> yeah, uh, you're gonna make make us Yorkshire pudding. You well, gotta make us. If we come there, you're making us Yorkshire. You know, I tell you, if we go back to Halifax, we're gonna sing down the streets of the cobblestone streets. We're gonna do an Oliver Twist there. Is what we'll do. More Yorkshire pudding, please. Can we have another stream? Yeah, we can do us something some other time. Yeah, maybe when the out now. Hello, Chili. So we probably should close off. So. Thank you. Sky Polo is, is Sky Polo. My synthesizer album is available everywhere under the handle Christopher Saint. If you type in Christopher Saint music, you'll find all that. If you guys ordered a CD, a collector's edition CD, it comes with a poster and it comes with that signed. Um, they're sold out. So the next thing we did was that was 500 only a limited a collector's edition we have a limited edition cd out net that's for sale right now um you can get it at spooktv.com that comes autographed yeah. that comes the cd comes autographed and um all these cds should be arriving i think within two weeks if not, not sooner but it will definitely hopefully ship by july if not just a hair after but we did get word they're coming and we got the posters today we could get them as soon as the 12th so if you late. guys want a yeah. cd please get one it actually helps support what we do we don't make hardly anything at streaming if you guys know the music business you can do a billion streams and not even make 40 grand you know um it's hardly any money you cannot even make copy you know cop coffee money with spotify so cds helpers continue doing this for you so please buy a cd if you can they're available at spooktv.com well you have a good birthday present we'll get that Happy cd birthday. for you and we're gonna probably sign up we'll take five more minutes and we got to get going thank you awesome too bye-bye music lover I don't know what Bandcamp is. Bandcamp, I was looking at that today. Let me go through that. So please, and also please keep streaming it because if it gets, it is, it is um, 
you didn't know this, it has been registered with SoundScan. So it will show up on the billboard charts if you guys stream it a lot. So please keep streaming it. I think we're at 500,000 right now. We got to get up to a million um, and we're getting there. So if you keep streaming it, we have a good chance that your song that you helped us find can be on Billboard Top 100, if not Top 10. And then the CD is now available um, for order at Spook TV. Nikki, if you could post that right now, darling, to where it goes. Buy a CD. It helps us keep the lights on. The biggest question on the album cover, who's who? So you're asking which one is Chris and which one is me? I'm sure... A lot Let's do the billboard charts, guys. Let's do it. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of people on this thread can figure out which one is Chris and which one is me. They'll give you something to research. No, it's on iTunes. Uh, di dis disco dollar, dis disco dollar. We can't show your physical CD copy because we don't have we it. We don't have yet. them yet. <laughs> they, what's that? Oh, where's that one? It's going to look, this is my Sky Polo one, but if you want this one, it's going to look like this, the ulterior motive. It's a four piece artwork. The CD comes out and then the pictures underneath and then it has all that. I can tell you that yeah. we changed the cover to a color photo that I think that some of it's on those uh, Instagram posts, but it's a color photo, color back, a montage of us from the eighties recording in the studio on the inside and then a cool pink boom box oh, the pink, cd the that comes CD's out not pink it's got a pink boom box on yeah it. the cd comes out revealing all these pictures of us in england when we were really young it's a really cool cd cover but it's no not black and white it's color there does seem to be a demand for cassettes so i'm gonna try and see what we can do thank you We'll be doing another live. I'm sure we will be. We Probably more to. closer to when we're releasing the actual CDs. Like I said, coming out. If you guys are asking about the CDs, customer service. If you have, if you got ordered a CD and your address is wrong, just write customer service. We've already got a lot of your your changes of addresses. If you have any questions, go ahead and reach out. We'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. The guy in the piano's droning because we thought it would be cool. Um, we thought it would, would be really cool um, to draw him in. Um, vinyl costs a lot of money for us to manufacture. I'm not sure if you guys would want to pay what we would need to have to charge to make it, I guess, worth the while to do it. I think CD in a car is the way to go right now. I love Spinal Tap. If there's enough orders <laughs> for vinyl, we will print one. Hello, Argentina. If you do like one last look, which is a little later in the times area we were recorded, the second one last is look is approaching the 90s. It's just under the, I guess it's on the cusp of the. You can hear the 90s. guitar changing from more funky to more um, pop rock, I guess. But there's also a lot of R&B stuff on the new album, similar to like your guy and like, you know, be just my imagination and some other stuff like that. I will sing for you when we uh, do a live show. Um, I'm kind of taking the day off. First, the, the number pre-order. Oh, uh, Nikki, could you do the pre-order on the CD, please? Um, that's it, will you have music? We're gonna just probably do a big music video that has a little bit of all the songs. Unfortunately, um, we've gotten copyright strikes. I don't know if you saw the TikTok video, but when you put a song out there, it rec if it's already been released, it recognizes it going to someone else. So we've been having a hard time putting ulterior motives in our videos because it gets copyright strikes. There's a lot of people who've done remixes and, and called it their own before the song was found. Yes, we have my sweetheart. And that's caused the complications. Album with us releasing our version the way the AI spots, you know, uh, tracks. The co I, I appreciate it, guys. The copyright issue, uh, this is quickly it's wrap complicated. up. It's complicated, but 
for all our fans that went out and sang the song Ulterior Motors and have placed it up there, slowed it up, sped it down, whatever. It's our song. I get it. That's cool. Anybody that's redone the song would change the words and said they wrote it. Please remove that song. Anybody that would like to stream our songs on their TikTok, Instagram videos. Um, on Instagram, you're able now to attach any song from the album to your videos. Please do that. That helps us. You can do Mandy's Love, Your Guy, You Turn Me On. All those are available right now on Instagram. TikTok is moving slow. Only Ulterior Motives now is on there. So you can do that as well. But you can include our songs in your videos. As far as the copyright issue, I appreciate it. If you see someone that has stolen our song, go ahead and report it. Chemistry was probably re recorded around 1985. How are you starting the recording? Um, we turn the lights on and turn the equipment on. Don't forget to push the power button. Yeah. yeah. One last look is definitely about a broken heart. I'm sorry. I think the CD's $19, $19.99. Autograph, which is great. You get an autograph. Live school was recorded in the 80s. Lindrum start, stopped working last year, and so did I, I got, by the way, here's something. For all you people that have mentioned the Fairlight hit in the new version, just so you know, here's your trivia if you haven't heard it before. The original Fairlight in the original song is from a Mirage and Sonic Mirage. It's Scarefest in Lexington, okay. Kentucky. It, it, not it is not from a Fairlight. It was sampled from a Fairlight into a Sonic Mirage. The Fairlight you, that you hear on the new version is a real Fairlight I brought in. So it's actual real Fairlight. And personally, I want to put a real Fairlight on the song. So if you guys didn't like it, I'm sorry, but it's a real Fairlight. I'm not really fond of Elon Musk, to be honest with you. Um, but I don't know, am I just something about I think it. Language of Love is probably about 86, 1986. Most of our music is in tel yeah, television and film because that's where the money was for publishing. How would guys stay down to earth? Uh, we have rocks in our shoes. We don't float away because what goes up must come down and everybody's the same that's why i get it i also wanted to i wanted to chime in with this uh for the people that are hating on the song and have said some very cruel things let this be that doesn't stop how i feel and i was going forward everybody that's been bullied out there and that's been made full of uh, fun of forget that keep going your way do believe in yourself, you're individual, and that's what's beautiful. And some, most people that insult you don't have anything going on. They live in their mother's basement. So I just wanted to say that. Do you guys agree on that? Please show us love on that if you agree that we got to stop this bullying on the internet. It's not cool. And people that, you know, we all have mental sadness that we get in depression. Do you know some people that are just a little close to the edge could go off and do something horrible when somebody gets bullied? So I want to say you've got to, you know, if you've got something not nice to say, don't say it. Opinions are fabulous. I appreciate it. But there are some very cruel people out there, okay? And you're hurting a lot of people by just saying silly shit that people yell out on YouTube. I'm not saying I'm not pointing fingers, but there are people that have mental health problems that might take it very seriously and end their life because of it. So please treat people with respect. And that's my thought to all the people that are going through. When Philip and I were 14, we got made fun of. We were beaten up as kids. I had my hair dyed orange and my eyebrows shaved off. And I, because I love David Bowie, and they used to say they thought I was gay, which is nothing wrong with that, but I wasn't gay. I liked David Bowie, and they made fun of me. And I remember what happened. And 
it made us stronger and stronger and stronger. You know, I, I, you know, you want to crucify somebody. I was already crucified in a music video when I was 30. You got to release that. When I was 33 years old. That's a great we'll have to show you the music video of me being crucified and Phil playing Jesus in a music video. It was video, a really cool know? video. It was great. Thank you so much. We're just trying. We're going to be real. And I have to tell you, you know, um, we just love love is love love you all and i haters lovers um just let's get the song to a million views <laughs> all right we should probably get going we wanted to say to wrap this up that we love you guys is there any last minute questions we love talking to you guys but we we have uh, other things we got to do thank you So let's wrap it up with this. Please keep streaming it. Let's get it onto the billboard charts. You guys streaming, it helps it get to the charts. Ulterior Motives will always be your song. Okay, you you loving that song brought us back. It made Philip play guitar again. Thank you. It that. made me sing again. Um, and I'm working on now singing and maybe we'll even redo more songs singing and i look forward to that but i want to thank you so much for everything the cd is available at spooktv.com if you order it pre-order it now we're going to sign the front of it means you can get a signed cd all for 19.99 and nicole nikki um go ahead and uh post that address that. there please so thank you so much um Please uh, keep up it. We'll keep posting as we get go along. Also, feel free to reach out onto the YouTube channel. It's Christopher St. Booth on YouTube. It's going to feature a lot of our music. Uh, Phil's going to start playing a lot of new music. We're going to be doing more records together now. I've done a lot of CDs on synthesizer music. We're going to be posting a discog. Dis I don't even say that word, discography. discography on all the songs up there. It's on YouTube. So go ahead and join our YouTube channel, Christopher St. Booth on YouTube. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram, on Facebook, and on TikTok. And uh, I think you're amazing, too. <laughs> you guys are. We love every one of you, even you fucking haters. Okay. <laughs> there you go. That said it, right? So here we go. Love you. We're going to leave because we want to leave out. We got, I don't want to even say goodbye to you. We all have to have a drink together and dance. We should have a dance party when the album comes out. Wouldn't that be fun? We can have rave lights, you know, psychedelic 80s. We can have a bubble machine. Hey. By the way, we have in these 80s music, we have bubbles coming out of a saxophone. We got to show you the rigging bubble machines coming out of the saxophone. You think if it didn't stop though, it kept the lowest. No, the and the whole studio was full of bubbles, you know. So anyway, yeah, we could talk forever. We got to go. Love you. Bye bye. bye. Peace and love. How do I do this? Bye bye. I got to find the right button. Um, how do I do this now? Um, I think I just do that, do I? Bye. Save. I'm not sure how you.